All right, first thing you want to do is open up OBS. Now we want to click on settings. Once we're there, we want to click on video. You can see I record 1920 by 1080, but we want to flip that. We want to record in 1080 by 1920. And on the second line, the output, we just want to go to the drop down menu and it should auto populate to 1080 by 1920. We want to click apply, then OK. And you can see right there, we have the window here for YouTube Shorts, the 1080 by 1920. I'm going to go ahead and switch my scene really quick. So right now I'm using my YouTube home screen, but you can see it doesn't fill the whole 1920 by 1080, but that's okay. It's easy to fix. You just want to click on that and you can see this box. If I take this box out of the frame, again, you can see the YouTube Shorts window there. So what I want to do is I want to drag back in my desktop and I just want to use this box to resize to make sure I fill up all 1920 by 1080 like so. And then you can drag it to what you would want to screen record. And it's just that simple. If I go to my other window and scroll down, for example, if I wanted to show you my shortcut tutorials, they're right there. Or my most popular uploads, they're right there. So on and so forth. So if I click off the rectangular size window, you can see it in its true form right there. All right, here is a bonus tip for you. If you've already shot some YouTube content and you want to take some clips from that existing content and upload YouTube Shorts, this is how you do it. You just want to go to your sources box here. You want to click on the plus sign. Then you want to scroll up a little bit and you want to click on media source. Click OK. You'll see right here a local file. You want to browse your computer and then you want to find that video that you're looking for. You want to click OK and there you can see the video. All you have to do is resize it to fit that 1920 by 1080 and edit accordingly.